everyone, Timothy Karambat, founder of Mintplex Labs and creator of Anything LLM. And today I wanna to showcase a really awesome feature we just added into Anything LLM that's available for everybody in the open source repo on GitHub, where you can now publish an AI chatbot on any website or page that supports HTML that you own. And this can be an internal facing website. It can also be public facing with all of the controls powered by whatever LLM you want, all the data stored privately on your instance, and it just works. Now today, we're actually gonna be using an anything LLM cloud instance, but if you are on GitHub and you know how to use Docker, you can just run anything LLM in a Docker container. We publish an image. It's as easy as two steps to get it running. Today, I'm gonna to use a cloud instance though, but it all works exactly the same. Now you may be familiar with chatbots. I'm on Product Hunt right now, and you can see these little icons in the bottom. Now this is Intercom, which is a helpful chatbot client where people can respond to requests. We want to actually use an AI LLM trained on information on our website and just make it happen with no code, just copy paste some HTML snippet and just have it work. So that's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna actually do it on our website, useanything.com. Now I'm gonna use the staging site because I don't wanna publish this to the whole world, but if I wanted to, I would just click publish. Now we use Framer, but if you use WordPress or whatever, it doesn't matter. It all works the same and I'll show you how simple it is. So first things first, you need anything LLM running somewhere on the internet where you can access it. Hopefully you've put up a password protection and all of that. Now the workspace and the chat bot we're gonna expose is public facing. The documents in this workspace, however, the things that it's trained on is not given back to the public user, but you can modify them and manage them within anything LLM as if you normally would if you've used our tool before. So the first thing we need to do is create a workspace. A workspace is essentially a collection of documents that the LLM will use to answer user questions. The more you have, the better, but there is kind of a science, but in general, if you have documents, it'll work. I want to showcase that I am using OpenAI. I already have my API key in and I'm gonna use three and a half. We could use three and a half turbo, GPT-4, even the 32K context, even fine tunes if you have one available you wanna use. We also have a whole bunch of other AI providers if you want to pick one of those, including Olama, LM Studio, and Local AI if you're trying to run your own model locally or on a server you maintain. Let's create a workspace that we're gonna to publish to the world. And I'm just gonna name it anything LLM. All right, so we're already here, we're started. And if I were to ask this chatbot just in Anything LLM, what is Anything LLM? It'll either give me a wrong response or tell me that it doesn't know because our project is not yet big enough for GPT to have scraped it, which is sad. So I'm gonna ask it on an empty workspace. And it says that Anything LLM is an online platform for basically people pursuing a master's of law. That is not what we are. So let's give it some information but actually just use our website to fill in those blanks. The way we do that is we're just gonna click on the settings icon, move me out of the way. And I already have a text document embedded in here that is literally just like, hey, this is anything LLM. I said, we're gonna grab information from the website. So let's do that. All right, so our website was pulled in. Now all we need to do is embed it. And you're probably wondering, how am I embedding information? Anything LLM actually ships with a built-in embedding model that runs on instance totally isolated and privately. That being said, if you wanna use OpenAI's text ADA embedding or the newest generation, which I believe actually has a even higher dimension output, you can. This is just what we give you for free. Now we've embedded this information, so let's go back to the main prompt and ask that same question, what is Anything LLM? So here we are asking the question again, and it says that anything LLM is the ultimate business intelligence tool, blah, blah, blah. And it got that information straight from useanything.com, which is right because it actually is in the tagline and that is important information. So it looks like our chatbot is pretty much ready to go. That being said, if we wanted to add more pages, we could add the anything LLM cloud page, the docs, we could put the entire repo of the GitHub in here, or we could put the download page. Again, we're only doing this for the home page for this example, but go crazy. So now that we have a workspace that's ready to go and we can publish to the world and basically just be hands off for customer support, or at least that's the dream, we can go to settings, 
go to embed chat and we're going to create an embed. Now you're presented with a couple options here and that's only because we give you ultimate control as usual and we're here we can select a workspace we only have one but if we had more they'd appear here we want to use the anything llm workspace now there's two chat methods one is for chatting which is basically like using chat gpt general knowledge plus your specific data or query which basically means the llm won't respond unless there is something to respond with for your safety we put it on query mostly because we don't want people asking random unrelated site questions that have nothing to do with our product running up our gpt bill and of course you can restrict the domain as well to make sure that people don't copy your embed and put it on their website or anything like that and it all gets handled on the anything llm instance side of things additionally you can set the max chats per day or per session Enable dynamic model use, which allows you to specify the model that you would like to use. Maybe on one page, you would like to use GPT-4 versus GPT-3.5 or a fine tune. Here, you can make that happen. You can also modify the temperature per page. Sometimes we find that that parameter helps a lot. And then, of course, enabling the prompt override. Through a simple string in the embed, in the actual code snippet, you can override the system prompt. Maybe you want to grab the actual description from the header, uh, HTML, and inject that as a prompt. You can do that. This isn't visible to the client. It's the system prompt. But here you can override it. Anything here that you override will overwrite the workspace settings that you've already set. Now, I already know the URL of our staging site, so let's limit all requests only coming from a certain domain. And you can see that's the domain. You can have multiple here. Having none here means you can have it anywhere. We really don't recommend it, but if you want it, you can do it. Now we'll just click create embed and our embed is created. You can of course go back and modify any of these parameters at any time if you'd like. Now for the next part of this video, we're gonna do the really easy part, which is showing this code snippet, which really is just this part of HTML. We're gonna click on this, which will copy it to our clipboard. And now we're gonna to go to Framer and embed it into our website. Now, just to showcase, this is the same exact website, but on our staging site, as you can probably see from the URL. Now, from here, all we need to do is to go into Framer, which, by the way, this is unique to however you're using it. it could be Webflow or GoDaddy or WordPress, whatever. What I'm about to show you is definitely possible in every single website builder. So we're going to go to settings because that's where we can access this. I want this embed to be present on all pages, and it's probably best that we put it at the end of the body tag. So we'll paste that in right there. Scroll up, click save. Oh, sorry. We have to publish it first. I will click update right here, and then it'll be live. Okay. And now our embed is present. Now it's very plain looking. And if we open it, you'll see that we have anything LLM branding. We have the kind of footer here, but let's ask the crucial question of what is anything LLM? And here we get a description. Now notice we don't get the context that was used because we want to keep your real source document private. And of course, the customer can go and reset their chat or anything like that. But I really do want to dive in to just a little bit of the functionality here that's possible. Now I'm on GitHub right now and I'm in the embed folder. There's a readme file in there. And this is all of the customization options that you can use that you can define with the embed. You can change the chat icon to a number of basically pre-supported icons. You can change the button color, the background color, the assistant response bubble, your response bubble, your brand image URL, the greeting, hiding the footer sponsor, or changing the link and the text of it entirely, and also showing should it open when the page first loads, what your support email is, and this is just the options that we have today. So while yes, out the box, our chat embed just shows anything LLM, we give you the ability to totally clean slate and refresh this chat bubble to where it really works with the branding of your site and your brand's identity. We're going to be doing a lot more improvements in the UI and the UX of this so your customers have a really great experience. But that is the Anything LLM built-in embed tool. You can publish this on any website you own, and it comes with Anything LLM. Thank you.